Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know it has been a while since I have done a video and I sincerely apologize for that. Uh, I really, as per usual, I usually don't really have an excuse. It's just life kind of gets busy and that's okay. That happens. Um, but I am back and I have a video. So yay. As you saw by the title, the video is going to be a haul video. And this type of video is probably one of the most watched um, videos that I put up. Um, you guys obviously enjoy watching my haul videos just as much as I like making them. I mean, I enjoy watching haul videos. I enjoy making haul videos. I enjoy shopping. I like to buy stuff because apparently I have no self-control. So, yeah, that's, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. But, um, but yeah, so I've accumulated not that much stuff but um i've accumulated a few things here and there um most of the stuff today is just going to be fashion and beauty related because i have accumulated quite a bit of stuff for chloe and isabel and there's just so much stuff like i feel like it needs its own separate video so that video will be coming soon um i have gotten a new planner i did talk about my planner briefly on my blogs i showed a new layout I have a different type of planner this year so I'll be doing a separate video for that as well I haven't actually gotten a lot of like stationary stuff or anything like that but I will do a video talking basically just about my planner my new planner and um, showing you what it looks like and all that kind of stuff so yeah I think I have covered all of the bases some of these items that you're gonna see in the haul video might already look familiar because if you follow me on my blog some of these um, pieces I've already featured on the blog once or twice so you know yeah but um I wanted to actually get on here and actually talk with you guys and share with you guys what I bought so without further ado we're just going to jump right in so one thing that I loved during the holiday season I was all about sparkles like love love loved sparkles and I'm talking anything sparkly from diamonds to rhinestones to sequins to glitter to um I can't think of anything else right now, but just any, anything metallic -y. like, that's a big trend that's, um, was for the fall, not for the fall, but for the winter season, for the holidays, but it's gonna even transpire well into the spring, so, like, anything metallic you're gonna see from shoes to handbags to sweaters to dresses, I mean, shorts, skirts, you name it, um, and I am all for it, okay, um, Normally around the holidays, I love to wear um, anything sparkly because I mean it's the holiday season. You want to wear sparkly things, but that's kind of transpired into just my life well after the holidays. As you see, I have my glittery nails. Yes, I have my nails back. Hallelujah, because I miss my long nails. Um, so I just recently got them done about two weeks ago. So yay! Um, but I definitely like I'm all for it. So like anything sparkly i think you know you could definitely make it work for daytime looks and things like that and you probably have seen or you will see on the blog you will see that so yay but the first thing i want to show is this particular um jacket that i got at target and it is actually a sequin bomber jacket and this is what it looks like and i absolutely love this like especially because it's rose gold like rose gold is being seen everywhere from from clothing to makeup to jewelry it's a big thing this year and when i saw this i just had to have it at the time i wasn't sure what i was going to wear with it i wasn't sure how i was going to style it but i knew i wanted it i knew i needed to have it in my possession and so um i snagged this one for right under 30 dollars I think I think it was like 30 between 30 and 35 I know at Target they may not have it anymore but if I find it then I'll make sure to leave a link below for it but uh yeah I remember seeing a blogger with a um with a sequin bomber jacket on Instagram and I was like oh my gosh I gotta get my hands on one and when I saw that one I had to have it because it's pink rose gold is everywhere it's very trendy so I had to get my hands on it. I definitely want to get another one, maybe like in a black or a navy blue, like a royal blue maybe. Like for my sorority color, like that would be awesome. So I'll be on the lookout for that. If you know where I can find one, leave me a comment below. Um, continuing on with um, rose gold, I snagged this pretty little skirt at Charlotte Russe. This skirt was on sale at the time when I bought it. It was $20, I no, it was $10. It was $10. 
And these are being seen everywhere as well. If you go on Pinterest, if you go on Instagram and look at different bloggers, you're seeing skirts like this everywhere. This particular skirt hits me. I wear it usually right around my waist right here. I'm getting my tiptoe so you can kind of see me. But um, I usually um, wear it there and it stops about to my knees. But they definitely have skirts that go like mid-calf. Or full length skirts, you just gotta look around for them. I know Zara had some. I think Topshop has them. I think um, Forever 21 has them. Um, I couldn't find this particular skirt online because I put this, I use, I put this particular skirt in a blog post um, not too long ago and I tried to link the exact same skirt and couldn't find it. But, however, they may not have this exact same skirt, but they do have like a silver one and I think they have like a gold. So, even if you're not necessarily into rose gold or you just want a metallic pleated skirt, period, definitely, um, I guess you can look into that. But um, what I was gonna, what I was trying to say was, or what I was thinking was that um, at first when I bought this skirt, I didn't think I'd be able to wear with that much stuff. But the more I experimented with it, and the more I played around with it, the more I found I could wear stuff. And it's kind of become one of my go-tos. Like I wear this all the time. Like I'll. I'll wear it to brunch, I'll wear it to work, I'll, you know, just wear it out to go with friends somewhere, to a nice girls night out or an event, a blog event, I'll easily throw something like this on. So it's really, really versatile and I mean, I find myself wearing it with everything from booties to um, to a t-shirt and sneakers to um, like a graphic tee and a leather jacket. I mean, it's actually pretty versatile when you play around with it. So I definitely think even if it's something that you're normally... Um, that you, you naturally don't gravitate towards. I think you should definitely give it a try and see like just what you think. Um, and definitely like since it's a trend, I think it's something that's going to carry into the spring as well. But if you're a little hesitant, I would say try not to invest too much money in it. Because especially like if you don't like it, if you don't wear it that often, you don't want to be out like seventy dollars or something. So definitely try to find one like a Forever Twenty One or Charlotte Russe where they're very inexpensive. So. Um, when I saw this, I remember Christmas of 2015, the holiday season of 2015, I saw a sequel skirt and I wanted it so bad. I was like, I saw a particular, I cannot talk for shit right now and it's getting on my nerves. Okay, so I found a particular skirt at Target and I like, what was it? I remember at the time I couldn't buy it or it wasn't in my size. There was something. And this was in 2015 and I, I wanted it so bad and I was mad because I couldn't go anywhere to find my size or whatever. So I saw this one back in early December and I had to get my hands on it. Now initially when I bought this skirt, I was like, okay, I'm going to definitely wear this to a Christmas party. And I didn't have the intent on wearing it again. Like I was like, where am I going to wear a sequel skirt again? You know, other than like for a party or something. Especially for the holidays because I mean... Secret stuff are expected around the holiday season. But when I tell you guys, like, this skirt, like, this skirt, like, look how glamorous that is. Like, yo. Like, I just need this, like, in a backdrop. Like, I just need to get this in a backdrop and just have this behind me because that's so, that's so fabulous. But, um... When I saw this skirt, like I said, I had the intent on wearing it for a Christmas party, which I did wear it for a Christmas party. But little did I know that I would be able to make this work with so many different things. Like, um, you probably, um, I think I put this on the blog, um, and, like, once. But I'm definitely, like, I've been wearing this thing, like, ain't nobody's business. And so I'll definitely be put, posting more daytime looks, more casual looks with this. I have some dressy looks to wear with it um so like if you're going to like you could wear it for like brunch you could wear it for a party even or then i'm gonna also come up with some looks that are definitely more casual a little more grungy like there's one look i want to pair with my leather jacket with this that i'm really excited about um i'm gonna try to get that up on a blog very soon but uh yeah i love this thing and i got this for right under 30 dollars. i want to say it was like 25 26 in that area you're probably not going to be able to find it because it was um, around during the holiday season but if I can't find it I will link it um, I know for a fact that Charlotte Rue still has some sequin skirts um, so if I can find something similar then I'll link that instead but yes this this is bae and I love that it has like this little it's not pleated but it has like this little this little skater part at the bottom that kind of gives it a little more movement versus just being completely straight down if that makes sense 
since this it has this um I don't know what this is called, but since it has this little um, peplum kind of thing going on at the bottom, it definitely gives the skirt more flow and definitely is a little more freeing to wear. Because I know if it was like if it was like a skin tight pencil skirt um, that was secret, I probably wouldn't have bought it. And if I would have bought it, I probably wouldn't be wearing it like as much as I do. But since it has like this peplum kind of thing going on at the bottom, it's definitely more um, free flowing and it swings and it moves with you. And I really like that. And it's very flattering for my figure because you guys know I'm a full figured woman. I just realized I have a stain on my sweater. That's great. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I love this. This gives me all the life. And I would definitely get a skirt like this in more colors because I'm digging everything metallic right now. So this next item, I actually got, um, this was thrifted, but, uh, but I absolutely love it. I got it at Goodwill, and I can't remember if I showed this in my last haul or not, so I'm putting it up here, so I can't remember if I showed you guys or not, but it's this. It's this polka dot, um, skirt, and it's very long. It's a full A-line skirt, so it goes about to my knees, and I absolutely love this. You guys know I love anything black and white. I love anything polka dot. Hello. Um, it's one of my favorite prints and um, it's just great. It's really great for like church or work, anything like that. Um, I easily throw on like a nice, a, a nice little blouse. I'm, like y'all, I'm getting like legit annoyed that I'm getting so tongue tied right now. Like I'm over here like Stormy, if you don't get your fucking life when, when you up here talking. Like I don't know if it's because I'm excited or what, but I just can't talk for nothing today. But anywho, so... Um, I really like this skirt though. It's um I can't remember how much I paid for this. I want to say it was like ten dollars something. But like I said, it was thrifted, so it was very inexpensive. And I easily throw on a blouse, throw on a little blazer, and I'm good to go. Um, it's one of those kind of pieces that I easily, I guess, gravitate towards when I'm looking for stuff for work and things like that. So it's really nice for that. That's usually where I wear it too. So this piece is not really important, but I figured I would share just because it is something that I got. And it's this sweater. And this is a Christmas sweater that I got. I had two Christmas sweater parties that I had to go to last month. And um, one of which was a blogger, a blogger friend of mine. She had a tacky sweater Christmas party. And then I also had um, a tacky sweater Christmas party for the magazine that I write for. So I came across this one because I thought about making my own sweater. But there was so much going on last month. I, I just really did not have time. So, I picked this one up at Walmart for like six bucks. Like, it was like five dollars and some change, I think. It was very inexpensive, but it's so cute. It just says the perfect man and has a gingerbread man right here. It has like a slight metallic sheen to it, which I really, really liked. So, I think that's really, really cool. And as you see, you see the Hanes logo there, the Hanes tag. And um, I wore it with a pencil skirt, a black pencil skirt. And I wore it with a with the gold sequin skirt, actually. And if you see my Instagram or you follow me on Instagram, then you probably have seen the pictures of me in this sweater with each skirt. And um, I actually won cutest ugly sweater at um, my blogger friend's party. So that was pretty interesting. And people, everybody was like, where'd you get your sweater from? And I'm like, Walmart. <laughs> like, girl, I got it at Walmart. But yeah, it's so cute. And like I said, another 10, they probably won't have these anymore. Okay. Yeah, because it's, it's late January, so they probably don't have it anymore. But I figured I would share with you guys just because it is something that I bought in the past month or so. So, yeah. Next thing I want to talk about, and I know I've put this on the blog. I've sh I've shown this a lot on the blog. It's this denim jacket. And it's a pretty simple jacket. It's in a medium wash. And I got it from this um, online boutique. Um, well, it was gifted to me from an online boutique. And I'll make sure to leave a link for it below. Um, I've talked about this in my blog. So I'm not going to go too much into detail about it. But it does have pockets in the front here. Then it also has pockets on the very side. But the side pockets are kind of weird. Because they're like all the way on the side. You know what I mean? Like normally the pocket is like right here. But it's all the way on the side. And it's kind of uncomfortable to put my hand in my pockets right there. Because I'm like doing like this. Trying to put my hand in that pocket. So it's kind of weird. But um... But this jacket was also under $30, very inexpensive. I do have a link that you can get um, money off of this jacket. So I'll make sure to leave all that information in the description box below. But yeah, I wear that with everything because I needed a new denim jacket because the old one I had, I pretty much 
grew out of it and I gave it to my mom. My mom is like much smaller than me. So I gave it to her and I desperately needed a denim jacket. <laughs> so yeah, that was that. The next piece is this particular dress that I got a rainbow in the plus size section. And I actually bought this because I had a Christmas party to go to. Y'all, I had so many Christmas parties to go to last month. It was ridiculous. Like, I mean, I loved it because I, I liked the idea of going to all these parties in the city and all this kind of stuff. It was glamorous. It was fun. And I lived for that. But um, I grabbed this dress because I, I wanted something new and different to wear. And I didn't really want to wear anything in my closet. So I ended up going to Rainbow and finding this little lace number. And I absolutely love it. As you can see, it does have a slip underneath so that, you know, you can't see everything. So there's the slip right there so you're not exposed. I do really appreciate the scalloped um, hemline right here. I think that's so pretty and so feminine. And even though it is V-cut, it doesn't really show anything. So, like, I don't have to, like, wear something underneath to, like, for my boobs or anything. Um, you could definitely wear something like this to church. You could wear it to work. You could wear it to a party. Um... I dressed it up for the Christmas party. I mean, I kept it pretty simple. I wore some pearls and I threw on some black strappy heels, but you could definitely opt for um, a bright colored clutch and some matching heels. Or you can even dress this down with like a leather jacket even and like throw on some sneakers or something. Definitely just make it your own. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this. It's so sexy. It's so pretty. Um, I'm trying to remember how much I paid for this. I want to say I pay like, 20 for it but i can't remember i don't know if they'll have it available anymore but i'll definitely look into it if they do but yeah this is from rainbow in the plus size section and it's just so pretty to me so so pretty i think that's going to become like one of those go-to pieces that like when i need something to wear like i grab that <laughs> so the last clothing item like actual clothing, if that makes sense, is this little number that I snagged at Target as well. Like, y'all, Target was giving me all the life last month. Like, they had so much cute stuff. Like, I saw, like, a bunch of stuff, but I only grabbed this, the things that you see in this haul. But there's definitely a lot more things that I could have picked up and took home, but I was trying to practice restraint. So, yeah, my eye is, like, itching. I'm like, nobody's business. But anywho, I got this little slip dress, which are, which is very popular right now. Like, slip dress, especially when you do, like, the little tee underneath or the button-up blouse underneath or anything like that. It's very, very trendy right now. Um, so, that's part of the reason why I grabbed it. But I also really liked it because of the strap detail. So, like, when you put it on, it has, like, this little crisscross detail in the back. I don't know why I turned the dress like you couldn't see that. But, um, but yeah, and I was a sucker for this, like velvet going on here so like that's like a velvety suede the darker part and i just love that that just looks so luxurious to me and it's actually pretty flattering on me i feel good in it at first i was a little hesitant i was like i don't know how it's gonna fit when i put it on but this one is in a size extra large and it fit me nicely i love it i wear it all the time i styled it recently with a faux fur coat and like some tights and some booties so that will definitely be on the blog very soon. Um, probably by the time this video is up, it will probably already be up, um, that particular post. But yeah, it's so luxurious and so darn cute. Okay, so because I'll gush about that all day. So I'm like trying to hurry to transition to the next thing. So the next thing I got is two pair of booties. And the first pair are these. And these are so cute. I snagged these at Charlotte Bruce for $20. They were having a sale when I grabbed these. This was like, I grabbed them like Christmas Eve. <laughs> I was at the mall with, some, with my mom and my sister, my little sister, and like my boyfriend David and my little sister's boyfriend. And yeah, these caught my eye and I was like, I gotta take these home. Like the other booties are being seen everywhere from like, it's like bloggers and different style stars like Kylie Jenner, Kendall Jenner. Have been seen wearing different velvet booties and this was a trend i definitely wanted to jump on i saw these like i said twenty dollars i had to get them right now they're showing like a blue like an icy blue on camera but in person they can almost pass for like a silvery gray blue it's, it's weird but, <laughs> but nonetheless i love these and i i'll be rocking these with everything because like especially if they have a chunky heel like they're so comfortable like I could wear them all day long and my feet will not hurt it. I love it I'm, I'm all for it I'm just like yes oh, yes lord give it to me but uh but yeah these were uh, made by Cupid and these are size eight um 
I don't know if they still have these. Like, I looked for these online, and I did not find the exact same pair. However, Charlotte Russe does have other pairs. They're just not exactly like these. So, um, you know, you can definitely go to the Charlotte Russe website and see if you find anything that kind of, like, tickles your fancy. But, yeah, it's awesome. So, next pair of booties, and, like, I literally wear these all the damn time. Like, it should be against the law how often I wear these. And there are these little booties right here. I mean, you guys probably seen these some everywhere on my blog. It's ridiculous. Or just in my day-to-day -day pictures. It's crazy. Um, but I'm all for these. I love the heel on it. Once again, it has a chunky heel, which I'm all for. And they're black, and they are short booties, and they are just everything. I wear them with everything. Because, like, you guys know I have a pair of black booties that have, like, the clear lucite heel. I think that's how you pronounce it. Lucite? Lucid? Lucite heel? Whatever how you pronounce it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I wear those, but since they have silver hardware on the boots, I feel like I can only wear those when I'm wearing silver. Like, I don't like to wear those when I have, like, a lot of gold on. If that makes sense, it might sound ridiculous, but... I don't like that. It bothers me. So, I definitely wanted some more neutral booties that I could wear regardless if I had on silver or gold. Because a lot of times, I am wearing silver or gold. Whether that's in my jewelry or my accessories, whatever. I always have some metallic somewhere. So, I definitely like these because they're definitely more, um, they're more flexible to wear with everything. And I wear these everywhere. Like, I wear these out to party. I wear these to work. I wear these to blogger events. I, 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 I wear them everywhere like they basically have become one of my all-time favorite pair of shoes right now like and I love that I could wear these with like my tights my different tights or my thigh high socks I just I just be all for it so I'm just like yes lord and I got I don't know if I said but I got these at Target and I got them on sale for like 30 something 30 or 35 I can't remember but they were very inexpensive, and if I could find them, I definitely will link them below. So, yeah, because they're awesome sauce. So, um, three more items and we're done. So, I got a few makeup stuff from my Nana, nothing too special, but I got a bunch of eyeshadows. Two single um, individual eyeshadows and then an, a little mini eyeshadow palette. So, I'll do the um, individual ones first. These are for Fashion Fair because my Nana works at Fashion Fair Cosmetics. This one, uh, uh, this one is in the color Noir. And it's just a nice charcoal black. <laughs> and it's so, oh my God, that's so black. Like, ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so, yeah. It's black. <laughs> but it's so smooth and creamy when you rub your finger in it. It's like so soft. Like, ah. Uh. I haven't used this yet, um, the black one yet, just because I don't wear a lot of black often. I'm usually wearing more natural colors, earth tone colors on my eyes, not nothing necessarily that dark. But um, but I do wear this one a lot, and this one is Coco. That's what it looks like up close. I'm going to swatch it so that you guys can see. So it's a nice, rich cocoa brown. And this one blends in very well with my skin, so it's kind of hard to see. But um, But yeah. It's um it's pretty smooth too. It doesn't feel quite as creamy as the Noir, maybe because I've used the cocoa a lot. Maybe that's why. But then I also got this eyeshadow palette, and it just says portable eyeshadow palette. <laughs> doesn't say it does anything special, but I have used this, so it's a little messy. But this is what it looks like. So you have oh, drop my brush. You have a number of um different shades you have your mattes and then you have your shimmers down here which i really like i like that you have the option of getting matte and shimmer in one eyeshadow palette i always before that um i won't swatch too many because i don't want to bore you guys but i will swatch one or two i really like this one this gold one because like i said i'm all about earth tone so i'm always about that that's pretty. Hell, I can use that as a highlight. Okay. Um, let's do... Let's do this. This one right here. So, it's like a gunmetal kind of color. And it has like a bluish, purpley undertone almost. But that one does not swatch well. Like, that one's kind of disappointing. Yeah, it doesn't swatch that well. So, like, you see the difference between that and this Noir, like, it swatch is totally different. So, mm, not too impressed with that. 
But yeah, it's um I haven't really used this much. I've only used this color in the palette. Um, but it's still pretty good, it's still pretty awesome. So, you know, yeah. So that is everything for this haul video. I apologize that it is so long. I really try to hurry up through everything. Um, but you know how I get, I get excited and kind of get carried away. But yeah, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you like haul videos and you want to see more. Make sure you subscribe by clicking that little red button below so that you become part of the Sweetie Pie family. I'm going to be attempting to do more haul videos as well as uh, fashion videos, um, planning, just anything I can get on here and talk to you guys about. I'm definitely going to be trying to do more of this year. Um, so yeah, I love you guys so much. I go... I go, I go really strong. The fuck? Okay. I hope you guys, damn. I hope you guys have a good day or night wherever you are. And I promise I will do better with the next video. I guess I'm just rusty because I haven't done a video so damn long. But yeah, as always, XO and stay fab. Mwah. Bye.